Last month, we built one of our Pyro Archons, so now I think it's an appropriate time to build the other one. If you're wondering what is this series, then let me remind you that Perfecting My Account is a series where I pick one character and I focus an entire month on just building them. I try to give them the best weapons, artifacts, max out their talents, give them the best stats that I possibly can, and basically try to make them perfect. Okay, let's assemble, aka let's go to see Bennett's stats. He finally doesn't have more defense than attack, because if you have watched my channel for a long time, then you know. I want to say it's not my fault, but it is 100% my fault. <laughs> I just didn't have good artifacts. He has this crit ratio, a lot of ER. Honestly, needless to say, I think he looks really amazing. Like, the only thing that we could probably improve is just have more base attack which is what i'm planning to do because right now he has the favonia sword r3 level 90 artifacts four piece noblesse let's go through all of them flower feather oh this one is so good sands probably could be improved but it's still really good pyro damage bonus goblet and his crit rate circlets how do you have both 20% crit damage and 20% defense? Huh, that's an interesting artifact. Like, it's both really good and really bad. <laughs> Constellations, he is C5. I don't know, I haven't activated it, but this could benefit Shenling probably and make her even better of a sub DPS because I always use Bennett and Shenling together. I'll leave it for now and I'll think about it later. His talents, 3, 10, 13. I have already crowned his burst, but I would like to bring this to level 12. And so let's go for damage showcase. I think honestly, we're probably gonna just do his solo damage. Maybe, hold on. I do use him a lot with Risley. How about we just see how much Bennett can do solo and then see how much Risley does on his normal attacks. And I mean normal attacks without like any buffs, basically. Just, I'm not even gonna press his E skill, we're just gonna do normal attacks. And then how much he does within Bennett's burst. It makes sense in my head. We will see if I'm able to execute it in a way that you also understand. Let's see all of his damage solo. 1,900. I feel like he probably can do a bigger number. Oh yeah, 4,300. I think that 4,300 is the biggest. Let's see the burst now. No, don't block it. 18,000, okay. Oh, wait, we can check his E skill inside the burst. Oh, wait, 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 that's, that's, that's a concept. This testing is gonna be a bit more complex because Benny is a more complex character. Okay, his burst again, 18,000. This might be the highest crit. And then her, his E skill. Please crit, Bennett. Please crit, Bennett! 8,000, okay. You know what, how about we just test Risley's normal attack one just this one so four thousand four thousand i think let's do bennett's first and now nine thousand oh all right then we're gonna go and the first thing we're gonna focus is weapon as i already said his weapon is a favonius but I have wanted to change his weapon to be the Sapwood Blade for a pretty long time. And I already have it level 90 on my Traveler. I never use Traveler, but I do have it. So what does it do? It has, first of all, much bigger base attack. It still has a lot of energy recharge. Not as much as Favonius though, right? Because Favonius, yeah, it has 60. It should be enough for Bennett anyway. He's not going to be using the passive of it unfortunately but i'm pretty sure it's still gonna be a better weapon anyway so let's switch to this one and i don't think there's any point of refining it since i don't even use him in any of those teams and so as i said we're not gonna even use the passive i guess that's it <laughs> in terms of the weapon that, that was a quick section mm-hmm 
In terms of talents, I have mentioned already that I have his birth crown, but I wanted to upgrade his E skill to be theoretically level 9, but because I do have his constellations, then we're gonna bring it to level 12. Let's see. I. Oh, have I performed everything already? Um, yeah, level 12 it is. I guess this section was also super fast. Let's go to artifacts. This video is literally just gonna be me farming artifacts. Before we go to the domain, we should try to see which artifact piece would be the best to switch. This one is... I think it's pretty good, so it's not necessary to be switched. Oh, okay, this one is amazing. I don't really see us possibly getting something better. It has literally all of the stats we need. Probably his sense could be slightly better. Just slightly. Pyro damage bonus is really good again. <laughs> Oh no, is this gonna be just like Shan Ling, aka me not really being able to upgrade? Oh, you do got his crit rate circlet. I feel like we could get a circlet, you know, without the defense percent. Yeah, over here. I think I have four condensed or maybe even five condensed resin. So we're gonna try to use that. For this domain, I feel like probably Zhongli and Wander will be the best because any other DPS that I have will not really work because we have a Cryo Abyss Mage, Hydro, and Pyro, right? So this should be fine. I hardly ever use Wanderer anyway. I should use him sometimes. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The Abyss Mage just always sounds so funny. Wanderer doing a lot of damage. Oh no, not the bubbles. What did I say about the bubble? Oh no. Why did I press E? Bad thing about this domain... <laughs> I was about to say the bad thing about this debate is the fact that I do not need this set whatsoever for anyone. <laughs> so, of course, we get only pieces from that set. Good noblesse pieces, especially circlet. Or a goblet, okay, okay. Oh, why are attack goblets looking like this? Electro... No, it's not good enough for me. I think main stat buys would definitely will go ER Sands, Pyro Damage Bonus, Goblet, and Crit Rate Circlet. And substat wise, Crit Rate, Crit Damage, Energy Recharge, Attack Percentage, and a little bit EM. Again? Why this? Oh. You dare to gaze upon me? Oh, that was nice. The synchronized. Oh, what is this? No. Since Bennett's burst, or actually the burst buff, ah, scales off with his base attack, I feel like this would be one of the characters that I actually want to fully bring to level 19. Not like I always do, which is 89 in order to just save materials. So quickly, let's run. Where's Bennett? Look at this. You're gonna have the honor of being a fully level character. I hope you feel satisfied. Now that we have raised Bennett fully, can we also get good pieces for him? Okay, we do have uh, no bless, but it's not good. Oh, that's a good Geo damage, but I don't use Geo characters. I mean, Zhongli doesn't count. He's built as a HP support, so we gotta farm Crystal Flies. Might as well do it now. I need to remind myself to do it more often. I do also have the Crystal Fly trap set up because one day I'm gonna run out of that and I'm gonna be so mad at myself. <laughs> We can set it up again. Let's get these ones. Don't even. Don't. Don't. I don't know how far we're into this series. I would say probably halfway there. We already definitely built like half of the characters I wanted. And I definitely am planning to do a Spiral Abyss episode. Probably towards the end when we build all of our characters. I'm just gonna see if I'm finally able to 36 star the Abyss with all of the characters that I have built. I think it's gonna be the ultimate showcase. The ultimate test if I actually manage to improve my account or do i still suck <laughs> yeah spiral abyss i i have good characters for spiral abyss but i have no skill so let's get back to the domain mm, maybe i mean if it roll crit break could be something who else uses noblesse now that i think about it i think bennett is the only character on my account that i use noblesse on so i can't even say that oh if i don't like this artifact that i can use it on someone else who else? <laughs> All the characters... Or actually, wait, maybe Dayona? 
I just remembered. Maybe Diona, actually. Because my Diona, right now, I don't even know if she has a set. Also, it was so nice to take a week off of Genshin. I finally caught up on some anime that I've been neglecting. I've been neglecting watching the newest season of Bleach. Jujutsu Kaisen. So, I'm just, I'm just really happy. <laughs> finally, I have time to do it. I have time to finally also play Stardew Valley. Because I wanted to create a new save for a really long time. But I never had time because of work. I am at... Hold on. Where am I? Like, mid-summer already? And it's only been a week. So, you can imagine that I basically play Stardew all day, every day. <laughs> yeah, this episode is gonna be short. I really feel it. Maybe it's gonna be like a 10 minute episode. So, I mean, we're definitely gonna do straw box, so that always takes a little bit of the episode. If I'm being honest with you, I don't think I have filmed a single time of farming artifacts, and I have been farming them for like a couple of weeks. <laughs> Let's go into the domain. I have, as you can see, switched my teams that I'm no longer working with my friendship team. Because if I'm being honest with you, I kind of don't feel like farming friendship anymore. That was definitely a goal of mine for a really long time that I want to have all characters with max friendship. But I just haven't been really feeling like doing it. So we're back with my favorites. Nahihi, Yaimiko, what else do you want? Uh, I don't want this set, and it's so bad also. No, and no. I feel like probably I'll give back to you when I'm gonna be almost done with farming all of the artifacts. We're gonna do some strong boxing then and see if I can improve Benny. Though I have a feeling that it will be like with Shanling where the improvement was so tiny that you couldn't really see that much of a difference. <laughs> but it's okay, even if we manage to improve them just a tiny bit, I believe that it's still a huge step forward. And the Bennett grind has come to an end. We still have a few resin to use. I think that this is most probably going to be the shortest episode out of all of them. The same situation is definitely going to be with all of the main DPS characters that I have. So when we get to Risley, Wanderer, Aika, all of these characters, their videos are probably just gonna be like farming artifacts because all of them are triple crowned, level 90 already. They have their weapons maxed out, so it's not going to be super interesting. <laughs> I think my volume is super quiet for the game because I genuinely cannot hear anything. Let me get the volume back up. Okay, now we should be fine. And let's roll all of the artifacts, Benny. Um, I'm still considering C6 and him. C6 sing. C wait, what? C6 sing. Why does it sound wrong? C6 sing. I'm planning to do that maybe at some point. Let's see his flowers. And let's see what we ended up getting. We have quite a few artifacts. That's nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what is this one? That's a beautiful piece. Enhance. I want all the crit rolls. Okay. This is looking special promising. It doesn't have any AR, but I think we will be fine. Crit. Okay, attack is also fine. Extra crits, please. Oh, of course, the last one had to be death. If we compare to this one, I think this one is better. Both of them are good. Honestly, both of these are really good. Oh, this has double crit stats. The last one, if it was ER, that would be ideal. EM honestly is also not that bad. I think I would want to throw a bigger piece to this just to see. Oh, I'm curious because if it rolled crit damage and like a really high roll, it actually wouldn't be that bad. I'm gonna keep it for someone else, not for Benny though. I think Benny could use a better piece than this. I love the fact that I can be so greedy with these characters. Crit rate or else I'm not even looking at this piece. 
I am not looking at this piece, even though it's good. <laughs> oh, this is really good. Oh, I don't think I will be able to get a better piece than this. The problem with pieces like this is that it has all of the right stats. So I don't want to really switch it. And I don't think I even have anything that has all four stats that I want. So I think we will save this feather. How about sands? Oh, wait, I didn't get any? Well, I guess strong box it is. Unless we got maybe a pyro damage bonus goblin on set no we didn't and a crit rate circlet oh yeah this one is ironically is so good what the <laughs> okay this one at least has two stats that i like and this one can potentially only have one do i want to roll a crit damage circlet how much curse ray does he even have? No. If that's the case, we just are gonna go to this strong box. Because honestly, Benny gets best of the best. Because if there is one character you should splurge on, it is Benny. I don't know how many we should try. So we have sands, circlet, and maybe even a goblet to be switched. Actually, I don't even really need to look at feathers because I have a lot of good feathers. And flowers, same thing, honestly. I mean, these are good flowers, but like, I'm probably not gonna use them. Okay, why energy recharge looks like this? No. Well, this is a good piece, okay. Sands, we have a lot of them, so maybe at least one of them can be... Uh, I mean, it can be ER, it's just the substats are not gonna be what I want. I almost don't even feel like clicking on the other artifacts because I don't want anything from them. Oh, so many circlets. Can I get a good crit rate one? Nope. Even though this used to be the set to go, you always wanted to have like a character with this set in the team. But now with the way that characters are built and most of them using either their E skills or normal attacks, you don't necessarily need support characters nowadays i feel like lots of sands so please one nice er maybe if it rolled a crit stat wait there's an auto add feature i <laughs> somehow i didn't notice this can i please get er no that's uh, that's a good em though <laughs> i'm just spam clicking through all of them er okay it has a crit stat it's not good though i'm honestly not even saying anything because i'm just spamming so fast through these give me er er energy recharge let's see the ones that we ended up getting i don't think they're gonna be good though because this one at least has three stats that i like and i would prioritize having a lot of stats that i like instead of forcing something that is not good possibly could have crit rate or crit damage as the fourth one hp oh no 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 uh, this one's not good but maybe if it was a crit rate yeah no okay definitely not then crit damage for this one oh no so we didn't get anything did i get a crit rate circle though i don't know what what i think about it crit damage last no. This one could have ER as the last stat. <laughs> Am I not gonna switch anything? We ended up switching one artifact for him. <laughs> we did get a few feathers, I think. Think. Oh, this one is like a perfect feather. It has all the stats. This one also has all the stats, honestly. But maybe this one could roll better. Of course. Why EM though? Crit damage. Roll into crit stats only. Keep it going. No! What crit stats? Come on, you were so pretty. Is it better than what I have? It is not, because it has this one has more ER and I would prefer to keep it. I did not improve Bennett almost at all. <laughs> he went back to having 1000 defense. Wow. Love that. But he does have a really good 1 to 2 ratio, a lot of ER. So I guess we could just go do the test damage. I don't think it's gonna be that much different, to be honest, but we did Bennett solo and then we did Risley's N1 inside of Bennett's burst as a melt. 
So basically a bit more complicated, but I think I, I know what I'm supposed to do. So we will start with Bennett's solo attacks. Let's see his Let E skill. I don't think it's really gonna change. I hardly changed anything, Let's to be honest. 5,300. I feel like if there is going to be a big difference, it might be in the meld buff. <laughs> Risley at one. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna name this category yet. First, I didn't crit his e skill inside the burst. Ooh, 10,000. That is definitely higher. Mm -hmm. That is where we're gonna see bigger difference inside of his burst. Let's see the burst. Everybody stand back. I didn't crit again. Bet you have what 67 crit rate, I think. Yeah, Benny. Let's see again. Teamwork is teamwork. You really didn't crit again. <laughs> Bennett. And we're gonna run out of time, okay. Everybody stand back! You really didn't crit again? We we did it four times and he still didn't crit. Unbelievable. Do you just not wanna crit with your verse? Is that what is happening? Let's try again. 20,000. By the way, we crit. And I definitely think that it's a higher number than before. So I think as a reminder, Risley is just N1. Hold on. Let the pyro get off of Masnori. Was 4,400? Crit, please. Please. Why do you guys not want to crit today? Really? 4,400. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're gonna do his N1 inside of Bennett's burst. 13,700. I don't know if that's like the highest number. I do see an improvement, but that might be just from switching the weapon and leveling him fully to level 90. I really don't think it's the artifacts. That's the point of perfecting my account is that it's it, like I do everything, but the results, they're a compilation of literally everything, not just one single thing like artifacts, everything. Leveling a character, changing their weapon, etc. Alrighty then, we can leave. Thank you, Masanori, for cooperating with me. And I'm gonna sum up the results and find a pretty place to present them to you. I ended up separating the results into two tables. The first orange one is with Bennett's solo damage. So we did manage to improve everything. Not too much, but I think it's still a very satisfying amount. And then the second table, it's more of a additional bonus one. It may not make sense to you, but it does make sense to me. We can definitely see that Bennett does above the characters a little bit more inside of his burst. Again, I don't think it's the result of changing the artifacts, but rather leveling him fully up and switching his weapon. Bennett's situation turned out to be very similar to Shanling. Nonetheless, I'm very satisfied with the results and even if we manage to improve him just a tiny little bit it's still gonna make a huge difference especially in spiral abyss with full teams and more buffs etc 